But let's get to these questions about gyros. Gyros. Um, it, it's a Greek food. You got a pita. You got some tzatziki sauce. You got some uh, rotisserie lamb meat. A little bit of lettuce, usually. They're so good. I'm a fan of them. Why would anyone not like them? <laughs> no, those are euros. Sorry. <laughs> dad jokes. Dad jokes. Anybody? Anybody down for some dad jokes? Hey, right, you kids, what gyro do you want? <laughs> mm. You're not going to get that on Bot Grinder stream, are you? No. Mm -mm. Not going to get dad jokes from Bot Grinder. You might, actually. I could see it. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about gyros. Uh, like, for example, is the ICM42688 any good? So, uh, here's why we're talking about gyros, gyro chips. Um, <clears throat> this has been going on for a long time. The MPU6000 gyro from Invencense was, for a long time, sort of the gold standard for flight controller gyros. And it became a little harder to get at some point in the last few years. It became a little more expensive. And some vendors switched to the ICM series gyros. ICM 2688, I think 2602. I'm not, I may be getting the numbers slightly wrong. There were various ICM series gyros. And they all have diff slightly different specifications. But in general, all of them were, were serviceable. But that doesn't le that doesn't mean that people people always want to be like which one's the best which one's the best. Nowadays, even the ICM series gyros are hard to get. Okay, the ICM series that we have been using, and so vendors who want to make flight controllers are looking around and going, what else can we use? And one of the gyros that people have started using is the ICM forty two six eighty eight. Now, the ICM forty two six eighty eight came to uh, my attention. Uh, we did a news segment about a flight controller that, and I, I don't remember the flight controller. If you want to find it, go to the JB Livestream Clips channels, the Joshua Bardwell Livestream Clips. There are clips from all of the news and live streams and so forth. Go subscribe over there, by the way. There's a segment we did about it. And this flight controller, the it had the unusable gyro situation. Um, the manufacturer knew that this flight controller was effed up too, because in the product page, they said, Hey, you got to turn your filters way down in order to make this usable. And it's like, that's never a good sign, but it was essentially unusable. It had like 20 Hertz noise peaks, which is too low to even filter. And that led some people to ask, is the ICM 42688 fundamentally flawed? And the answer to that question is no. In fact, I spoke with Dominic Clifton, and thank you to Dominic Clifton uh, for, you know, chiming in and giving me such helpful information. He regularly chimes in with really helpful information uh, about flight controller design. Dominic Clifton, <clears throat> he is the creator of Clean Flight, which kids these days may not know is the thing that Betaflight grew out of. So he's the creator of Clean Flight, made a whole flight controller firmware all his own. Well, not, I mean, it, it's open source. Other people contributed, I'm sure, but he was the lead. And he develops the SP Racing series of flight controllers. SP Racing F3, f five years ago, was the most popular beta flight, clean flight flight controller. It, it was just number one. And he still makes flight controllers and, and, and knows a lot about flight controller design. And he said that the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cali FPV, I'll, I'll get it. That, sorry, you interrupted me with your super chat. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> he said that the ICM42688 is actually very, very good. The specifications on it are actually very, very good, but it needs clean power. And he blames the flight controller design for the bad performance of the 42688 in that one flight controller where it's completely unusable. He says that we should not shy away from a flight controller just because it has the ICM42688, but some flight controllers will have poor, like if you don't have capacitors near the flight controller to clean the clean up the 3.3 volt rail, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> is the 42688 any good? Yes. Is any given flight controller that has the 42688 any good? Depends. We don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. Mm. 
Now there's a question here from <clears throat> Bannister Post. Saw UAV text post. Uh, now that we hoarded MPU 6000s, apparently everyone likes the BMI 270 better. And I didn't see UAV text post. Where is UAV text post? <laughs> is it on Patreon? Is it um? Is it on YouTube? Let's see if we can find this post that we're talking about here. Five months ago. Okay, it wasn't here. Where was it? Was it on Patreon? I don't know. Oh, here we go. It's a, it's a video. I see. The BMI, the BMI 270 compete with the... Okay. Oh, the MPU 6000 is from TDK, not in Vincent's. That surprises me, but all right. Um, this is this is not a surprise to me. I hadn't seen this video, but Chris Rosser did a gyro rundown, and he also concluded that the BMI 270 was on par or better than the MPU 6000. Um, and uh, so that doesn't surprise me. Um, uh, and the only reason, but but the BMI 270 has a different internal low pass filter by default. And so in the past, if you used a BMI 270 and brain FPV flight controllers were the only ones that did it up until like this year. In the past, if you used a BMI 270 with beta flight, then the filtering in beta flight would be way too aggressive and it would be over filtered. And some people suggested, and I don't know if this was true, but some people suggested this was why people felt that the brain FPV flight controllers flew differently. They had an over-filtered smoothness that some people may have liked. Um, Betaflight has adjusted their settings in Betaflight 4.3. So if you're running Betaflight 4.3 with a BMI 270 flight controller, you're, the filtering is all fixed and correct and you don't need to do anything and it should fly appropriately. But as far as raw hardware performance, it does seem that the BMI 270 is as good or better than the venerable MPU 6000 and superior to the ICM series drivers that we have been using. So, there you go.